The historic Laura Secord Homestead in Queenston is the setting for a brand new reading series in Niagara. Coast to Coast, Canada's Literary Women features four female Canadian authors reading from their novels, all of which feature female protagonists. Tonight, Saskatchewan's Dawn Dumont reads from Roses Run, her story of a woman who finds new life while living on the res. Don, roses run, Rose takes up running later in life. She's facing some changes in her life, uh, big turmoil. Then in the book, she's chased by a demon. Is that symbolic? Is she being chased by her own personal demons? I would like to say yes, because it would make me sound really smart. But no, I don't think it, it's basically the demon is, is mainly just woken up by her taking um, charge of her life. And whenever there's like a, the strength, that's what a female strength, that's what wakens the demon. So it's sort of the law of unintended consequences. Even though there's a positive, unfortunately, there's a dark side. The legend of that demon, is that something that um, is present on that particular reservation? Yes, it's definitely that that demon arises from that First Nation. She lives there, she comes from there. Uh, it's loosely based on the legend of the Wind Windigo, which is a, a, a demon that would rise up and that would eat human flesh uh, and that would feed off of it, uh, which actually has quite an interesting history because it comes from the idea that uh, people would every once in a while just go completely crazy, which I think was just a, a release, I think, just from the stress of living together and in, in old communities and stuff like that. So if someone sort of went a little bit nuts, or maybe it was a way they dealt with mental illness. They said that they had been taken over by the Wendigo. For a reading series about female authors, there's no better setting than the homestead of Canada's most well-known heroine. We thought if we were going to do this somewhere, this is the absolute best place to do it, um, highlighting women in Canada, and where better to do it than in Canada's most well-known woman. <laughs> How did you choose the four authors that are reading in this series? Uh, so I did a lot of research on different women uh, across Canada, uh, award-winning um, authors from British Columbia, Saskatchewan, local author, and from St. John's, Newfoundland. Uh, so there were just books that um, had gotten a lot of uh, reviews that were really good, um, shortlisted for different prizes, and that kind of um, appealed to me personally as the one that got to choose them. So. Dumont also contributes to a number of newspapers and has written plays, but her stand-up comedy act about life on the reservation has probably brought her the most attention. In stand-up comedy, you know, you take a joke and you, and you write a punchline, and then you write another punchline and another punchline, and if you're a very good stand-up comic, you could have like 20 punchlines. And so I think maybe the, um, that type of writing uh, taught me to be to work harder when I'm trying to find a joke and also uh, being a stand-up comic you learn that authenticity is the most important so I think in the writing you just try to find it from this is what this character would do that was funny this is what this character would do so I think that that was good training for for writing humor. Dumont's latest book is actually a collection of short stories Glass Beads follows four characters and their lives on and off the reserve from ages 18 to 40. It was actually more just about wanting to write something that I really felt connected to the characters. And this Glass Beads was based on some characters I'd written in my 20s. And, you know, now that I'm in my 30s, I thought, you know what, I felt like I was ready to write about the next stage of their lives. And, yeah, it just basically arose from writing in the morning before work, and it just became what it was. Dumont will be reading at Calgary's WordFest later in October. The Coast to Coast reading series is sold out, but you can get your name on the waiting list by visiting NiagaraParks.com. Reporting in the village of Queenston for The Source on your TV, I'm Mike Balsam.